Hey, Connor here. Welcome to Never Sink Farm. I'm here in the family garden, and I'll talk about adding amendments and uh, cultivating them in. You know, as you know, I'm no-till, uh, which means I try to do the least amount of disturbance while still being efficient and being able to farm and earn a living. And so that means don't invert soil layers is, is how I describe what I do. I don't want to invert it. I don't want to uh, bring heavy equipment out here rototillers and things like that. Um, the cultivator, which I'm gonna get in a second, is just a battery powered. It only goes about this deep, which in my system is great. You know, in any system you wanna use, fine. So for my no-till system, if I'm gonna be putting down amendments, let's say lime or something like that, you can't just leave it on the surface. And I find a rake to be incredibly uh, terrible to do this job with. Uh, the cultivator works be wet better, the uh, iconoclast. Um, but you can use a rake if that's what you prefer. So this is a uh, fertilizer. This is just the Never Sink Blend fertilizer, which you get from Seven Springs Farm, uh, which I, I like a lot. This is in addition to compost, which I keep adding. So I use the Econoclast for smoothing compost. Um, so you have a nice smooth bed. And with the Econoclast Pro, it doesn't leave ridges, so you don't need to roll it afterwards. It'll leave you a really, really smooth seed bed. Um, but yeah, you know, again, it only goes about this deep, so it's not going to hurt your soil if you're, you know, a living soil farmer. It's going to be perfectly fine. Um, but if you're adding some sort of amendment, you can't leave it on the surface. It's either going to blow away, it's not going to do anything. It's got to be put in at least below the top, you know, half inch, inch, right? And you want to even it out, right? You don't want to have to lay it out so even, right? You know, so... That's what the cultivator is going to do. It's going to even it across your bed. Otherwise, you know, when you have beds like this, you know, where stuff is bigger than the stuff next to it, because the fertilizer wasn't put down evenly. And uh, the cultivator helps. Okay. So you can even still see the fertilizer on top, but it's nice and evened out. Right, and so on a 30 inch bed, it's just two passes, okay? Okay, and you can see there's barely a ridge in the center. It's like almost non-existent. It's just so flat. It's organic amendment. So now the soil life can work on it, right? Because I'm feeding the soil. And if I put it on the surface, I'm not gonna be feeding the soil. It's gonna blow away. It's just gonna sit there and nothing's gonna happen to it. Uh, what a good practice is, too, is to put it down, right, then put compost on top of it, and then smooth it. And I do that a lot, right? I'll put in the fertilizer, put lots of compost on top, and then it's sandwiched between the layers, and then the life can really work on that amendment. All right, so that is adding amendments, no-till system. I Meaning if you have a till system, you probably don't want to bring out your tiller just for, you know, a uh, 50 foot bed or 100 foot bed. It's kind of a waste of time. All right, so I hope that was helpful and uh, until next time. Mm -hmm.